I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use Sterling generators in Ender.io. So first up, how do we make a Sterling generator? Well, we have a simple version and a normal version. A simple version is quite simple to make. It requires a furnace, some stone bricks, a simple machine chassis, which just needs some grains of infinity and some infinity bimetal gears. If you're not sure how to make these items, check out my playlist for Ender.io because I have covered them all. The normal or the general um, sort of sterling generator needs some dark steel and dark bimetal ones, which basically is using dark steel and an industrial machine chassis and some industrial die blend. So basically, what do the simple and sterling generators actually do? Well, if we right click on it, you can see here that it has an energy bar and we can actually burn things up in here. And this will use combustible fuel. For example, I can put in blocks of coal here, and you can see how long each piece has left, five minutes and 16 seconds, and how much it's burning. You can see also the percentage remaining, generating 30 um, kind of infinity, I think it's called, infinity power, um, a tick, at 80% efficiency. And you can see um, that there is a leakage on the basic or simple Sterling generator. So simple machines do actually have a leakage. We can also press this button here to show recipes. So I can see there's 28 different recipes I can use of it in this mod pack, and it can show you how much it can make. Um, so we can look through all the different recipes here, of basically different things that we can actually burn up and the amounts of fuel or energy that they will generate when put in the Sterling generator. We can also click the gear here, configure IO, and you can actually click and drag around this space. And you can also click these two squares and that will show the blocks around it. So I can click that and you can see there's a block there um, under it. And what I can do here is basically say, you know, I can, I can pull this around and say on the bottom, do I want to input or pull, pulling into the machine? Do I want to push out of the machine? Do I want to push and pull? So what you could do here then is basically add a, a chest, for example. You could add a chest on top and right click on the top to say pull. And then if you put that chest on top, it will pull, let's say coal, um, into the machine automatically. By hovering over it, I can also see here you know, how much um, we have left. If I then go into the general or the normal Sterling generator, you can see this will need a capacitor to actually um, make the machine work. The basic version will not need a capacitor. I have gone through capacitors in my Ender.io um, playlist. You can also, in the standard one, um, actually activate or disactivate it with redstone up here as well. Now, you'll see if I put a basic capacitor in here, the efficiency is 80%. If I put in a double layer one, it will actually be 100% efficiency and can store 300,000, whereas a basic one can only store 100,000. If I put in an octadic capacitor, the efficiency goes up to 120%. So basically, the better the capacitor you put in here, the better the efficiency of your, say, your coal burning um, is going to be. And that is a Sterling generator and how to use them in Ender.io.